Okay, welcome back everybody. So today we're actually gonna be doing something quite, 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 quite interesting. Um, today we're gonna be creating, um, um, can I say a simulation of a brute force uh, attack? So what we're basically gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating a class. Um, the class is gonna, uh, well, obviously we're gonna be creating a class, no shit. Um, well, it's gonna be taking in um, an integer that it's gonna read in from the user um, using J option panes for just for the sake of it. We could also just use a terminal, but we're gonna be using J option panes. Um, we're gonna take in an integer, that integer we are then gonna be converting to a hash to actually, um, well, what happens during a brute force attack is the hacker usually has like a hashed password rather than a password in plain text. So with that, we're gonna have uh, our, say, password hash when we hash our integer. Um, then we're gonna create a function that is gonna test out all integer combinations until it finds one um, that, uh, with the hash that matches the hash of our input password and by that we pretty much simulated a brute force attack because that's pretty much how it works. Um, so you want to get things started with a new project. Um, we want to go into a, a SRC, we're going to create a new Java class, we are not going to be creating any packages or whatsoever um, for this little tutorial, you know. Uh, so let's just call this main. Um, uh, yeah, with a capital M that should, I don't know, will it make a, let's just call it tutorial. Um, okay, so here we got our class. Now we want to go ahead and type in tutorial just to set up, uh, and I can spell, there we go. Um, so this is our constructor from the class, and now we just want to go ahead and type in public static um, and that should be small public static void main string array and we're gonna call this args um, and this is what's gonna execute our software later. Um, so first things first we want to create a new method um, and we want this to be static because it's gonna be um, this one's gonna call that one, and that one's gonna be called from here, and so it doesn't complain. We're just gonna set it to static. And we're gonna be calling this one, I don't know, like compare, because it's gonna be comparing our, uh, hold up, compare, there we go. Um, because it's gonna be comparing our input to, um, well, obviously to the thingy, okay. Um, so we wanna type in compare here, we wanna call the function from up here, and then we wanna go into this uh, thing down here. This is our main method, and we just wanna say new tutorial. Um, there we go. So now when we run this method, it will call tutorial, the constructor, the constructor will call this method, and into this method, we're actually gonna be putting everything now. However, we're also gonna be creating another method. We're gonna call this static, and it's gonna be a byte array because that's what's gonna be returned from the hash function. And we're gonna call this, um, what do we wanna call this? Just hash, okay? It's gonna take in an integer, and we're gonna call this input because we're gonna be using i later. Um, Okay, so uh, it's gonna return a byte, um, so we gotta go ahead and say byte array output, um, and we gotta set it to null in case the function fails, so it can still return something. Uh, obviously, the function should not fail, but uh, Java just wants it this way, so we're gonna do it that way. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, we got an integer as an input, and now we actually want to convert that to a string first because the hash function takes in a string, and then we want to call this imp, and that, uh, um, yeah, imp, and we're actually gonna set this to null because we're gonna try to convert our integer to a string. Uh, although I don't, I don't think we need that. No, we don't. We do not. That should not be able to fail. So let's just go to um, integer dot to to string, and we type an in input, and with that we have our string. Now we can go ahead and say try 
catch no such algorithm exception e and then please print print stack trace so we know what happened and in here we want to go ahead and say message digest digest equals um message digest dot get instance and then we want to say um um M M M M I I for forgot hold up what did I want to do um mm, oh yeah um in here the type of algorithm goes in here so we're gonna be using in this tutorial gonna be using SHA two fifty six um so that's the type of algorithm we're gonna be trying now it needs to be in a try catch because if it does not find this algorithm it will fail. Um, e dot print stack trace is not gonna help us, but it sh should not fail. So, um, otherwise we could just type in system dot exit in case this input is uh, wrong. But that should not happen. <clears throat> so now we want to go ahead and say, and um, we're gonna be using integer. We're gonna say output equals digest dot digest. And then we want to go ahead and say, um, I do not see that. Um, um, hold up, hold up. Okay, so we want to type in here the string dot get bytes. If uh, it's not called int, what's it called? Imp dot get bytes and then we want to type in standard char sets dot utf8 and with that we would have our hash and then we return it now what we want to do is we first need to call this hash because it's obviously not being called this function so we're gonna go ahead and say um what do we want to do? We want to, um, okay, so we're gonna create a new byte array and we're gonna be calling this one, I don't know, user, user, user defined. Um, okay, uh, and we gotta set this to null. Now we're gonna go ahead and say um, user define, oh yeah, um, try. Um, do we need a try? Yeah, we need a try because we're going to be using the J option pane. Um, equals and then hash of and we want to go ahead and say parse int integer dot parse int. And then we want to say J option pane dot show input dialog and then we're going to say null and please enter your um, path, your integer, so that users don't get confused. Um, okay, um, if this fails, catch exception E. I do not care what type of exception it is, I just wanted to go ahead and repeat compare. Um, now, normally you also have to like catch a null pointer exception on whatsoever, but we're, we're just gonna leave that out for now. Um, so user defined. Um, now we wanna go ahead and write the function, but so with this, we just get the hash of our input. Now we wanna go ahead and type the function that tries out all the possible combinations. So we wanna go ahead, um, oh yeah, um, da, 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 da. we wanna say, um, we do not want to hash, do it. Ah, uh, well, I just let's let's just say that we are only gonna be entering integers. Else, we would need um, to set it up here, the input, and then we would put this in here, the the uh, that whole thing. Uh, okay, whatever, whatever. Um, so let's just say our integer is always bigger than zero, and we know that. So, um, we're gonna go with zero. I is smaller than, and we're gonna go with 
close to the maximum of a, the maximum integer length that is 2.1 billion. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And then we want to say i++. And in here we want to say, um, um, we want to call hash. Uh, no, we do not actually, do, do we need to do here? Let's just immediately compare it, I'd say. So in order to compare, we're going to say message digest dot is equal. And we want to type in, um, so we're going to take this integer and hash it. And if it matches, we want to return it, else we just want to keep uh, going. Um, so let's just go ahead and say is equal. And then we got our integer here. So we're going to say hash with our i. And then beside it, we want to compare it with user defined. Um, no, and we just want to say hey, this, 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 this should have gone in here. If that, if not, if there we go, if this happens, then I want you to say system out print found a match for and then plus our input which was um okay found an input for i um and then i wanted to system dot exit um and then we want to type in zero in here and we want to say break so it does not continue going um if we want to know what it's doing, we're actually going to type in s out and then i just to see uh, which integer it's currently hashing if we use bigger numbers so that we see that it's actually doing something. Um, um, if for and then should nothing happen, we just want to say s out no match found. Okay. Um, with that, we should actually theoretically be done. So let's go ahead and try this out. Gonna run that. And there we go. So we get this. Please enter your integer. We're gonna say one, two, three, one, two, three. And it's gonna start going. And it says found a match for one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, now, if we want to go ahead and do this again, let's try out, say, come on. So the reason I added that with the um, with the with it so that prints a current i is because say we want to go with like twelve million, it's gonna take quite some time. As you may be able to see, like these are only thousands. It's gonna take like half a minute or something. I know it should not take that long. Um, well, anyway, it's eventually gonna find a, a match. Now, um, you might be asking yourself, well, maybe, maybe, if if you don't, did not understand why I did, um, how the hell is this a brute force attack? Um, or how is it supposed to simulate that? So, um, to us, we know the input, however, the software does not. The software goes ahead and hashes the user's input, okay? And uh, then it tries to find that hash by running through all possible integer combinations, which is pretty much what happens during a brute force attack, but you won't be using an integer, you'd be using a regular expression. You'd say like, um, regular expression, I don't know, wanna break it, but say like, it would be like A to Z, A to Z, um, hold up and let's just, and then like zero to nine and I don't know what, whatever um, symbols. And it would just run through all of these until it eventually finds a matching combination. Now, obviously there you'd have to um, add the length that you wanna find. You could theoretically also go through all possible combinations. Oh yeah, it found a match, but that would take ages. Um, so, Basically, we read in an integer, it gets hashed, um, and then it just tries to match the hash. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. The code's gonna be on GitHub soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, then make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.